Today we're going to be talking about the Box Go Box SLM15, a mobile workstation from Box which incorporates the latest generation of NVIDIA RTX graphics cards. Now it's a sleek and slim looking computer, but it also packs a lot of performance in there. It's actually a really, really great mobile workstation. Now we won't be going into all the details in this video, we've written a full comprehensive review which you can check out on engineering.com, but this video is just going to give you a brief overview of our initial thoughts and impressions on the GoBox SLM15. There are three different versions of the GoBox SLM15 that you can buy. There's an entry level version, a slightly better one, and then the best one. Now we have the entry level version here, and it's got an Intel Core i7 processor with six cores, and the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 3000 graphics card. So already in the entry level, you've got pretty high specs. Now all three versions have 32 gigabytes of RAM. You can't go any higher, you can't go any lower. Now that's a lot of RAM, but some users may prefer more, especially for certain types of workloads. But it's, it's a good solid amount. Uh, the entry level version also has 512 gigabytes of storage. Uh, now if you go higher, you can get one terabyte of storage, but again, that's the max. Some users will want more, but it's a decent amount of storage for what it is. So with the Core i7 and Quadro RTX 3000 in the GoBox SLM15, you would expect it to perform quite well in graphical applications and processor intensive tasks. And that's exactly what we found in our usual array of benchmark tests. SpecViewPerf 13, Spec Workstation 3, Passmark Performance Test. The GoBox SLM15 got pretty much the top scores we've seen in all those benchmarks. It's really neck and neck with another mobile workstation we've looked at this year, the Eurocom Sky X4C. That's a souped up gaming laptop, so it's very powerful and it got high scores in all those benchmarks. And it was just a little bit better than the GoBox SLM15, but this computer here is quite a bit cheaper. We'll get to the price later and you can see the details of our benchmark testing in the article, but suffice to say that it performed as well as we could have hoped for. I was quite impressed. Battery life on the GoBox SLM15 is fair. It's about average. Uh, on a typical working session, for me at least, with Chrome, Word, Excel, uh, some SolidWorks documents open, some Fusion 360, and various other applications, I got about four and a half hours before the battery died on me, which is, you know, it's a half a day of work. It's not great, but it's, it's pretty average compared to other mobile workstations, especially for the specs in this machine. Now, if you're really conservative with the battery, you can push it to 12, 13 hours. That's, that's if you basically lock this computer down to useless, but if you're watching movies on a 12-hour flight, then it'll get you through it. And if you're really pushing this thing to the extreme, and, you know, maybe you're doing an intensive simulation or rendering, uh, it'll probably only get you about an hour and a half to two hours on a single charge. The GoBox SLM15 aims for a slim and light design, and overall, I think it achieves it. It's less than two centimeters high when the lid is closed, and it's only a four and a quarter pounds, which is lighter than a lot of mobile workstations, not the lightest I've seen, but quite light. I think the design also looks really nice. It's this sleek black metal finish. The keyboard and trackpad have this gold highlight around the edge, which really makes it pop. There's an array of input-output ports, pretty much everything you need. Check the article for the full specs, but it's well equipped. Uh, the keyboard and trackpad themselves are great. The keys are pretty shallow, so if you like shallow keyboards, you'll love this. The trackpad is quite smooth. I, uh, it's got this sort of wide profile, which you don't see in a lot of computers, so it feels stylish and premium. Overall, we were very impressed with the GoBox SLM15, and even more impressed considering that the entry-level version of this computer is just over $3,100. Now that's expensive, but it's not as expensive as many mobile workstations you could get. And at the performance that you're getting with this machine, it, it has a great price to performance ratio. There's other comparably priced mobile workstations like the Dell Precision 7530 or the Lenovo ThinkPad P1, but both of those didn't really reach anywhere near the performance level of the GoBox SLM15. So if you're looking for a mobile workstation that will give you the most bang for your buck, it's probably this one right here. And you could pay a couple grand more for the higher end version with uh, that i9 processor and the Quadro RTX 5000 graphics cards, you'd get even better performance out of that one, presumably, but then you're paying that extra premium. So if you're looking for something that will give you top class performance, but at a pretty reasonable price, this is it. For full details on my review, you can read it. If you're on engineering.com, just scroll below. And if you're on YouTube, we'll put a link. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, now go do something else.